Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome and today I'm going to do another reaction to The Real Housewives of Miami season 5 episode number 3. I am knocking these videos down you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video. All of my social media platforms, my website and my Patreon are going to be linked down in the description so make sure you check that out and if you guys want to join my YouTube membership family just click the join button right next to my name and also please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when i upload and without further ado you guys let's react to episode number three of the royal housewives of miami it looks like the people are having fun so that's the most important part right they're celebrating alexia's wedding party No, that was cute. I never thought I'd have a woman as spectacular as you. No. I never thought that I was going to gain two sons. Oh. You were going to gain two daughters. Oh, that is so awesome. Peter, Gabby, and Sophia, and give you brothers. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Oh, I love love. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is just so inappropriate. Lisa, girl, stop it. Yeah, that just, it just, you don't need to do that right then and there. How is she implying that? Yes, please give her that. That's like ridiculous. I'm so upset about that. Oh, shade. No, Marisol can definitely drink all night. Are you guys, are you guys the stronger drinker in your friends group or not? Let me know in the comments. Why is she still at her? Yes, please. New beginnings, honey. Hash it out. Done. Okay, girl. Let's stop talking about it. Oh, my God. The girls don't even know what to do. This is crazy. Now they want to be hugged up and partying. Girl, I can't. Back into modeling. Okay, Julia. Go on ahead, Miss Julia. Go get out there, honey. Let the people know AJ nothing but a number. Women of my age actually can work. Yeah. At your age, there's a whole market of yeah. There's definitely a market for you, girl. I'm here for Miss Julia. Get out there, girl. Mm -hmm. I love olives, actually, but I'm not skinny. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Miss Marisol's a freaking nut. What? He's still with her? charges of domestic violence oh my god i would have been out of that you know she happened and she started screaming and that's when peter called me he said mom like you need to come here because like this is gonna end up like this and that's exactly how it is wow it crazy experience for him yeah you know he did the right thing with that situation though from when she's explaining it and you know they're happily in love again and i'm not because that's all i can think about girl you gotta be you gotta be happy with what your son decides to do girl 
just like he was happy for you. And you know, you got to go with it. Girl, pussy whipping. What you talk about? Story of my life. You can't do that. You got to let him do what he got to do. You can't be part of that process. So she has dogs and lives in a penthouse. How does that even happen? My dogs love him. And I feel like two days with Jaws is equivalent to two months with a regular trainer. Okay. Hopefully he's that good, honey. He must be real good, honey. The dogs don't listen to her. Should we do some content real quick? All right, let's do it. Yes, for the content. I feel you, girl. You know, my kids, I love putting the halo collar on my dogs. I love the fact that there can be, what is the thing called again? Wireless fence. Oh, oh my God. Where I can set up the perimeter at the park and not have to worry about my dogs. That's good. Yeah. But I'm making the mistakes that I probably should have All that matters, honey. You get the right clip, okay you're fine. It's not just the dogs. We've got to do our work, too. Anything else you want to tell me about business? No, I think we're good. <laughs> she went on a long tangent. Okay, girl, I feel you. Get your businesses out there, honey. Everyone else does. Okay, Frankie. Get in, honey. Frankie trying to get some. She brought the dog, girl. Oh no! Yeah, you kind of have to get over it. I'm the same way. Yeah, my parents can't really do no wrong. Like they did it for the betterment of you. Oh my God, girl. Gertie, relax, honey. Relax. It's not that serious. Not enter me. I heard he was very married. I don't think he is. I would be a bad friend if I had all this information. Yeah. You're telling her. It's good. Girl, she's looking up for you, Miss Adriana. Take it. What is the point about it? You have mortgages, and what's your point? Is the best thing? Honestly, I don't care if you have a mortgage. Right. I don't really believe Lisa. No, girl. I don't believe that neither. With Herman, he kept me in the dark. I had like a budget, and when I went over that budget, he would like cut me off, or I would have to beg, or I would have to do a lot of other stuff. Same point. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> so, like I told Lisa, more employee, why don't you look to see if you're even on the deep? The smart. Because if anything happens, I don't get to see Peter much these days since he got back with Lauren. He's spending. Peter's a cutie her, pie. And my parents were so tough on me, you know, when I met your dad and. And I said I was marrying your dad. And yeah, I'm glad she notices that, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, she's in a relationship that her parents didn't like, and she's doing the same thing. And look what she's doing. He's like, you're the common factor. Well, I'm sorry for being who I am. I'm never going to allow any woman to come between you and I. That is for sure. You're not going to allow it, girl. I mean, she's just a protective mama bear. You have to respect it. But at the same time, you have to let your son do what he does. And you be there with the open ear. Yes, my queen. Girl, bye. He's a skinny legend. <laughs> That's nice. It's beautiful, honey. That house is beautiful. Like, 
like I have to step it up now. Okay. <laughs> so clearly, honestly, with the way they're interacting, it doesn't seem like she knows what's going on. He's referring to her as my queen and she's like my hubby and all. Girl, what's going on, honey? I think Logan's better off without the goldfish. Maybe it might help with the whole Jack situation. Lenny does look good. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Jax has what? a condition. What happened? Where he doesn't have the use of his legs. And it's progressively getting worse. Oh my so God, no. So we're very worried that we're going to have for both Logan's and Elle's birth. So oh my God, no. So sad to see him deteriorating so quickly. Did you find out? Oh, that hurts my soul. Mm. Russian caviar. Okay, the chef is doing his chef dizzle. I know that's right. Ultimately, I can do everything myself, but I always like you to do it for me. Girl, that's probably why he's leaving so, your ass. Tell you, and I get it. I get it. I understand. She's newly divorced. That's hard. After a 20-year marriage, I can't even imagine being at that place. I really can't. Mm -hmm. He's like, uh-huh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I sympathize. He's like, well, start imagining, girl. Then she started saying, not only do you have one mortgage, but you have two mortgages. Home equity line of credit, which has a zero balance. Right. I opened it three, four years ago. I haven't taken a penny out of it yet. This conversation is... Out of it yet. And we all know that's not true. We lean on each other. We're in a marriage... I lean on you, you lean on me. That's a partnership, that's a marriage. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Lenny, so, it doesn't seem interested. Just taking a shower and she fell off, and I think her eye is broken. So I think we have to call in my woman. Yes. She's in the laundry. Are you, I'm gonna call the ambulance. Stay right there, okay? Okay. I'm gonna call the ambulance right now. I'm calling an ambulance. Oh, wow. Okay. This, this is not what ambulances are for. Need to go to the emergency room. Let's get some ice, okay, and wrap some ice on it. Okay, we're going to get, we're going to take you to Mount Sinai. I mean, you, okay? who can take her? Can, can, uh, I mean, it's can not life or her? death situation. She just no, needs to go uh, to the emergency her. room. For people in severe injuries, this is just a risk. So we're going to put some ice on it, and we're going to send the car and take her to the hospital so she can get it checked out. Makes sense, Lenny. Did she break it? Girl, Lisa, relax. Just call an Uber. I don't, I mean, I know he's a doctor, but I, I gotta... And most likely the Uber will probably get you there faster. Just no, saying. Lisa, you don't call my for that. That's an abuse of the system. It's a wrist injury. You put ice on it. You get a car to take her to the hospital right now. Do you understand? I really hope that she's okay. She didn't break her neck. Come on. Let's put things in perspective. Yeah. Oh, my God. I agree with Lenny. Let me know what you guys yeah. think. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction to The Real Housewives of Miami, season five, episode number three. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Lisa knows what's going on between her husband and this his girlfriend right now at this stage in the relationship? Or is she just trying to act like she does? she's oblivious of anything? And why is the husband still calling her the queen and and giving her like um just reacting to her like nothing is going on right so let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and your comment might be chosen in the next video please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when i upload and if you guys want to join my youtube membership family just click the join button right next to my name right underneath this video all of my social media platforms, my website, and my Patreon are going to be linked down in the description. So make sure you check that out. And like always, you guys, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, you guys. Bye.